Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through and uh, introducing you to uh, Planet Nibiru, also known as Planet X, Black Star, Death Star. Now, believe it or not, there are things going out here, uh, going on out here in our galaxy that most people couldn't comprehend if they wanted to. Let's face that. Now. Uh, right now I'm using uh, Microsoft Worldwide Telescope. Um, I've used Google Earth. I find this one to be better. Uh, it's up to the user. Um, but this is my preference. So let's go ahead, look around the universe as we pan around. Now finding this thing, after you found it the first time, most people you know we'll need coordinates the first time or um, just a good image and a good place to go to now I can find it right off the bat because I know where it's at and once you've you know given yourself a place marker you'll always be able to find it no problem now you notice um, standard it will be digitized sky survey color you always want to find this area right here looks something like a turtle or an ancient dinosaur you know whichever you prefer now let's zoom in now you notice we see nothing right here correct so what we want to do is because this thing is so hot and gives off so much heat we want to go to two mass imagery infrared and there it is right across the line now in ancient times they say this thing when it came around and it slung shot around the sun the sun back out into space that it looked like it uh, had the wings of a dragon now look at the tail end of this thing from here all the way up there and in space that is a massive massive amount of space and it's also said that this thing has its own mini solar system and if you look closely right here right here and possibly behind it and further off there's more around it <clears throat> now just to give everybody a good idea of how close this thing is to us um, I'm going to show you a couple things here. Now let's first just take the long way around. We're going to pan and follow this blue line. Follow the yellow brick road, but follow the blue line. Here we go. We're now panning the universe. Let's zoom out a little. And there you have one of Jupiter's moons and of course Jupiter itself back here and its other four moons zoom in on those real quick now remember this is the long way around and that was relatively close to Jupiter here's Jupiter its moons boom 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 now let's continue panning we'll cross other planets along the way zoom out further there we have Neptune let's get a close-up view of that this is just to uh, familiarize you with everything and there you have Neptune so we'll zoom back out continue panning There you have Mars, a tiny red dot, and up here looks like a star because it's so far off, it's Pluto. Now let's continue panning. There's our sun. Now remember how long it took for us to get here the first time. Now we zoom out, here we have Mercury, Venus, Saturn. Now how long does it take for me to get back to where we were? Right there to right there. 
there you have it people this thing's close now let's zoom back in on it again to get a closer image of it again remember this is a Death Star it's spewing all this red gas and so uh, you know I couldn't tell you exactly what it is coming off of it this is infrared so it has to be heat of some sort what the chemical makeup of it is I couldn't tell you but it is definitely interesting folks you know um just get on it test it out you know try your hand at it you know look what you can find and observe because there's things going on out here that you know people couldn't comprehend unless they had a better idea of the workings of space so like I said get on it try it out thank you guys for watching this video I plan on making another video after this that goes a little more in, in depth and into more detail about some of the things that we just covered about the uh, distance between these the age of the photos taken on Microsoft telescope how close it could be today Thank you for watching, and goodbye.